Hi, I'm Tony. This is SV Tapatia, and this is the video log of the build of this cruising sailboat that you see behind me. Um, there's a bit of roadworks going out on out the front, so uh, apologies if you hear noise from them. As I say, the video log, the video record of the build of this boat, which is, you know, the whole intention is to just record the way that I go about building this boat and uh, the various, you know, little steps involved. And this week's been a big step because uh, I spent the best part of two days jacking her up and putting some blocks underneath. I know that sounds incredible, but it really was the best part of two days, jacking her up, putting her, getting the blocks underneath there, making sure she was sat level for an half and the thought ships and uh, getting her ready so that we could start work on the, on the keel construction. And the keel itself is made up of two elements, being uh, the, the wood section, the dead wood basically speaking, and then the ballast keel which is a, a lead block basically speaking, bolted onto the bottom. So uh, got her up high enough to make a start on that wood dead wood section and indeed did that, got the very first small piece on. But uh, one or two other little bits going on round about, let's have a look. end pieces for horizontal rails that are going on the 22 millimeter pipe beautiful but for some reason they've got a quarter inch hole through them I need to take them out to eight millimeter so get drilling So the stainless tubes have arrived for the uh, horizontal, or sloping a bit actually, uh, rails that connect the aft bimini post up to the stanchion um, in the corner there. Got to cut them a bit to length, they're a tadge over long, but uh, looking good. And we've got these ends with the holes through them that fit into the welded on brackets on the various posts. And I uh, say, they've only just arrived, so I've been waiting for them for quite a while. Ready to start cutting them and getting them on. Next week you'll see them in place. And then I can, as I said last week, I can throw a tarp over and um, and tie it down to these. It'll give me something to fix the tarp to, which will protect the cockpit, keep the leaves out. Pleased about that.
So I made a bit more progress with the rudder. Both of these upper end plates are now in position, shaped up. Um, I was rather hoping to get them glassed, but <laughs> it became clear that I had a bit of a supply chain issue um, when I got my glass cloth out. There was nowhere near enough of it, so I've had to put in an order for glass cloth, which actually has just arrived. Um, and I've also ordered um, the low temperature hardener for the epoxy because temperatures are dropping rapidly at the moment. Um, so that will be done soon. Certainly, I've now got the materials. That's the way it is, isn't it? To keep stock, but sometimes it's hard to keep track of stock. Get a bit busy in these things. If you like these videos and what we do here and feel you'd like to show your appreciation for the time and effort that goes into it and you know the filmmaking, the video making, the time and effort is not insignificant. Um, there are a couple of ways you can do that and one way is, is via Patreon. Um, at the end of the video there's a link or in the video description to the Patreon page and there you'll find a few videos that you won't find on the YouTube channel and also three tiers of support 
There's a $1 a month tier, a $3 a month tier, and a $10 a month tier. Um, and I say dollar, I think euro and pounds are also possible. And that's a, a really nice way that you can support the project here. All monies go into directly into the boat build project, potentially, possibly into, into some camera gear, but mainly into the, into the boat build. And uh, you're not buying me a beer. <laughs> and uh, it's very much appreciated. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so there she is. Now clearly that's not high enough for the for the entire keel, but it is certainly high enough for me to make a good start on the deadwood section. Um, in fact, it's high enough to get all of the deadwood to the top of the ballast keel uh, on, although I think I need to jack her up a bit higher, but high enough for now to make a good start. Uh, we'll certainly be jacking her up a bit more in due course. Um, but there we go. Time to start putting some keel on. Now, from time to time, I get these really nice comments about bits that I've, I've my my design elements, my design inputs, I suppose, and people ask me if I've used CAD or or some kind of computer design there uh, to do it. So I thought I'd show you uh, one of my design drawings. This this is my design drawing for the uh, for the support blocks for the boat where I jacked her up and where she's sat on. Now, here you go. Check these out.
90. Got a package arrived. One of many. Bronze screws, silicon bronze screws. As I've said before, all of my metal metal fastenings under the waterline are entirely bronze. These will help me fasten some of those bits of wood together for the keel.
sorry. And there it is, the first little bit of keel. Box is set off now. Good and solid, oh, proper solid. On there, obviously, we're gonna get another two pieces of this six centimeter thick wood to level her out. Same at the back, so we've got a, a flat piece running through and then we can just put solid boards on after that nice and easily to get a, a flat surface there that the ballast keel bolts up to. Um, also been inside, lifted the floorboards up, started marking out the positions for the kill bolts, at least roughly at the moment. Um, we'll be drilling them very soon, I think. And that, guys, is it for this week. Massive thank you for watching, for coming along on this journey. Uh, massive thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon, PayPal, and uh, we'll be pushing on. Getting a bit more than this tiny little bit on the bottom here. And uh, see you next time. Bye.